Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing eat tutorial look. You guys have requested me this so many times, so I thought, you know what? <sighs> it's about time. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in such a long time. So today is a special Eid edition look for you guys. Also, Ramazan Mubarak, everybody. And now if you would like to see how I went from this to this, then keep watching. Okay, first things first, I have already actually done my face. Because I take a long time on my foundation and you know the color correction everything else so if you want to see that I'll actually have to do a separate video on that today the focus is gonna be on the eyeshadows a little bit on the contouring and the overall look okay so keep watching till the end I'm sure you're gonna love this look and if you also recreate this Eid look make sure you do follow me on Instagram and tag me on Instagram which is me lady Isha and now let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm using this beautiful Beauty Bay palette. I'm also gonna link everything down in the description. So don't worry, I'll have like detailed links for you guys for each and every product that I do use in this tutorial. I'm gonna take this beautiful pink color, such a beautiful Barbie pink color from the palette. Create a pink crease. Now that this is blended, I'm gonna take a darker pink color, which is super bright and super dark pink. I love this. I'm gonna take the same brush, it's all right. I like how this palette doesn't have too much fallout. I do recommend this one. We're gonna place this darker color just at the end to give my eyes a little bit more definition. To lift my eye and create a little bit more definition for the eyes. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm taking the Revolution Reloaded palette. There is this beautiful pink shimmery color right here, which I'm gonna do on the lids, basically, you know. Because this is a little bit of a shimmery color, I'll have to actually wet my brush first. I'm gonna use my favorite Isha Cosmetics toner just to wet my brush. I use this as a spring mist also all the time through the summers because it keeps my pores so shrunk, you know. And I also use that to wet my brushes sometimes if I really wanna pick up a color, which is this one in this case. Now I'm gonna cover my lid with this beautiful shimmery color. And don't go above your lids. That's a pretty color. I like to round my lid like this, kind of faking my lid, you know, like that. Do you see that? I'm gonna lift and round this out like this. It will make my lid look just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna take the same brush with which I used the darker color and just blend the ends. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this beautiful eyeliner. It is like a glitter silver white snow white color eyeliner. I really don't know what brand that is. It actually was a gift and I've been using that ever since. I am now going to go around with this glittery eyeliner just at the front, creating a round eyelid. And that's about it. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same pink shimmery color and apply that in the middle of my lower lash line very close to your lash line just a little bit of that shimmer it will give you a very dreamy eye makeup look i am now going to wet another brush and take a nice highlighting color which i'm going to take from the same palette the revolution reloaded palette it's a really nice champagne silverish color perfect for using as a highlighter so i'm going to use this color for my tear ducts as I have my eyeshadow palettes out, I'm also gonna now quickly use like a brown color. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow. I think these two I'm gonna mix and it makes for a perfect contouring color. I'm gonna contour my nose straight away before I put my palettes away. So I mix these two colors and then two narrow lines and a little V at the bottom. If you also want to see how I contour my nose to make it look super super thin, then make sure you do watch my tutorial. I have like a really quick four minutes tutorial showing you guys exactly how I contour my nose, especially for Instagram photos and it's super effective. If you have like a really bulky nose, it's gonna be like magic for you. I'm gonna take some translucent powder because I already have a concealer. I'm gonna just take away the oiliness from my face. Well, I'm not really oily, but I think it's also because of the lights. I just look super shiny right now. But anyway, I'm gonna apply the translucent powder under my eyes. You can also do that before you apply your eye makeup, but well, I never really follow any makeup rules as such. I just go with the flow. 
and I do whatever I feel like. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of translucent powder literally just on the bridge of my nose in the middle. A little bit on the chin because my chin tends to get quite shiny when the light hits and I don't like it. I know people like a shiny chin. It just makes my face look very droopy and very long so I like to keep my chin very matte. Okay, now I look very pale because of this translucent powder. I have set my concealer and the foundation, but we're gonna do a little bit of contour, so I'm gonna look perfectly fine. I'm gonna use the Kaiko Smart Palette and use the contour color here, and just go in a little bit on the sides of my cheeks, a little bit on my jawline. For some reason, the lights make me look still very pale. Even the pink is actually quite warmer than what you actually see on the camera right now, which is crazy. hate my hairline Ugh. next thing I'm gonna use is the NARS beautiful little mini palette it also has a really nice highlighting color and some super cute blushes I think one of them being the most famous iconic blush which is called orgasm am I allowed to say that here I'm sorry I actually always mix these two I love this palette I do recommend this palette I think it's it just it always comes in handy you know and the highlighter is super bomb if you really want like a blinding highlighter which well I'm not a fan of but you know if you're into that this is your color and obviously these blush colors never get old so I'm gonna mix both of these also never smile when you apply your blush guys you know you always should have a straight face or maybe like an angry face or something or a moody face you know or like a resting bitch face in other words because when you smile and you apply the blush on top of your cheek right and then when you're serious again th that that part of that cheek comes down again right so that way the positioning of your blush is actually going to be wrong so just have a straight face on and know exactly where you want to position your uh, blush color and well there you go so even now if you smile it lifts it up and when you're serious it comes back down but it's still there where we want it to be I also like to use a little bit of blush on the tip of my nose you know it just makes you look flushed and youthful and beautiful and really cute so I always uh, do that before I apply my highlighter obviously with the highlighter what I like to do I'm gonna use this fan brush just very slightly well I already have a glowy face thanks to each and every product at ishacosmetics.co.uk especially the toner that I've literally just used right before my makeup also and we're gonna use that at the end also because it also can be used as a setting spray and that is why I do have quite glowy face anyway so I usually don't need too much highlighters even though I have used a matte foundation today okay I'm gonna link the foundation it's right here it's the fit me matte and poreless by uh, Maybelline and it's actually quite matte you know but my glow is coming through honey a little bit here and I also like to apply just a little bit here you know on that brow bone like this towards the end of the eyebrow basically for the nose now what I like to do I'm gonna be very precise with the nose highlighting I don't really like when people just go with the fan brush and just apply it all over their nose is that's a lot of highlighter it never looks nice in fact in my opinion the more highlighter you apply the more cheap it makes your overall look look like does that make sense so with your nose especially you want to just take a brush put a dot here literally that's it <laughs> And a little line up here you know this just, just, just a little bit a very short line by the way if you apply highlighter like from here all the way down you know it makes your nose look really long again watch my uh, nose contour uh, tutorial it's a very quick tutorial if you have a bulky nose and want to slim down your nose and make it look short and really cute and sweet you have to watch that tutorial I'm gonna link that down for you guys now with a very dark brown color almost like a black color uh, eyeshadow I'm gonna actually fill my eyebrows I have stopped using too many eyebrow products because you know I keep just playing with the shape of my brows so I'm always constantly in this process of like growing them back and now cutting them I cut off the ends as you guys can see and I just keep doing weird experiments so yes I don't really use any crazy eyebrow products at all because then my eyebrow hair falls off and I obviously can't afford that we're gonna get back to the eyes first it's just that it just makes me feel so satisfied when I do a little bit of everything all at once and then finish up my makeup look you know so, so we're gonna do the eyeliner and the lashes at the very end and finish up the look but first I want to do my lips 
oops i need to sharpen my lip liner it's the pillow talk by oh okay it's the pillow talk by charlotte tilbury also gonna use the same lipstick which is the pillow talk but in medium oh i love this lip color but at the end, what I want to do, just to make everything matchy-matchy, we're going to use this beautiful lip gloss by Revolution Pro. This was one of my recent purchases. I got this on my birthday, basically. I got tons of stuff in pink color for my birthday. Anyhow, I'm going to use this lip gloss. <gasps> oh, wow. I have a thing for pink glosses. I don't have many glosses. The only lip glosses I have, which is a bunch of glosses uh, in pink color. No other colors probably do have a nude lip gloss but it makes me look like I'm dead you know so I just go with pink because it makes me look alive I like this back with the eyes oh, the most difficult thing ever I hate applying eyeliner I always do that at the end that's the reason now you know well I'm gonna use a white eye uh, eyeliner for my waterline first of all just to make my eyes look a little bigger and doll like and pop a little bit more Next thing, I'm going to use an eyeliner. Okay, starting with the end. That's how I like my eyeliner. I'm not going to come all the way up because this really lifts your liner. And this is also 2021 eyeliner trend anyway. Nobody does like full eyeliners. Now all you do is apply a little bit of uh, a wing here at the front and then a wing at the end and lots of mascara or lashes. And literally that's the 2021 trend for your eyes. It makes them also lift and look like those foxy eyes basically. I have just applied the dual lash glue on my falsies here, which I have reused like about a thousand times. I'm actually the queen of reusing my falsies. Yeah. I am going to apply my lashes now. I always hold them with a the tweezer like this, kind of upwards, and then I take my mirror down here. This is the easiest way you can apply your lashes, trust me. So you have to basically round up your uh, lashes first. So make sure they're proper round, you know. Literally, that's that. Now adjust them a little bit to your taste to your style why do i always have food on my mind we're gonna do the same on the other side it's so annoying when you have to wait for the glue to dry you know and i use this time to actually clean up the mess here so let me clean up I like the setup here because it's so easy. Here's my vanity. I have new fresh flowers here. I know it's too much going on at the back, but that's, that is like um, the other background that I use for the rest of the videos when I'm just sitting down and talking about serious things, acting like I'm all serious, you know? And I think here would be where I could do my makeup tutorials. I think it's perfect. I think the glue is pretty much dry. Do the same, you know, look down. That's that, it's so easy. You won't believe these lashes are actually the Primark lashes. I have forgotten uh, the style name. If I remember, obviously I'll write it down in the description for you guys. But these lashes are so cool. They are kind of like wispy-ish, you know, and I have reused them like a thousand times because obviously it was like locked down in London. So I couldn't really go back and get the same lashes again, you know. So I only had like two pairs of similar style to keep using throughout quarantine. How crazy is this? Just to hide the glue um, line, I'm gonna actually go in with my eyeliner again just to hide that glue things, you know? I just don't like that plastic gluey effect. So I always go back in with my eyeliner. Okay, so I quickly changed into my dress, but obviously I have a few things still to do. I haven't applied mascara on the lower lashes, so I'm gonna quickly do that. And on the upper lashes a little bit as well. Notice how my falsies are actually starting almost from the middle of the eye and then going all the way up because that way you can kind of lift your eye just a bit more. Your falsies don't really have to start all the way from the front, right? All right, we're done with the mascara. I also want to contour my Next thing I want to do, I want to contour my shoulder blades just a little bit also. I just like how it looks, especially with Asian clothes. It makes you look so much more elegant and it makes you look like you have a really great posture. 
and we're gonna use the NARS blinding highlighter it's really cool it has a lot of shine to it I haven't used much of this on my face but here on my collarbones always take out two extra minutes to do your collarbones because it makes you look so much more elegant and like you have like a nice posture you know it just it just makes you look so much more feminine and sophisticated next thing I want to do something with my hair I really don't know what but maybe let's just start with brushing them first of all Well, thanks to the Glam Growth Hair Oil for the health of my hair, my hair has never looked this much shiny and this much frizz-free and, I don't know, super soft also. But that, like, this side is not even brushed and it's still so soft. To be honest, I have very stubborn and very frizzy hair and this oil makes my hair look just so much more better. The best thing about the Glam Growth Hair Oil is that it stops my hair fall. Like, literally, if you have hair fall, use this for two weeks, you'll see the difference. If you don't, you may as well change my name, but I bet you won't have to. Okay, what's with this? Can you just stay here like this? You know, like this, thank you. I think what I would like to do is, I'm just gonna keep them on one side like this, but then from this side here, I like to lift my hair up just a little bit like that because it also lifts your eyebrow just a little bit more, making you look even more cute, you know? I'm gonna twist them a little bit. It's very simple. And I'm gonna go in with my fancy little clips. And this side I like to keep it behind my ears and this side can be kind of at the front a little bit, you know, softly falling on my face, kind of like so. I am not sure if I wanted to go in with this necklace because I know it's going to make me look a bit more, I don't know, heavy, kind of wedding-like, but you know what? I hardly ever get the chance to dress up and look like a daisy queen in London anyway, so I might as well just go all in. So I'm going to actually put this on anyway. I bought this necklace like years ago for one of my friend's wedding, you know, and that's the only time I wore this. And obviously I never got a chance ever again to wear anything like this. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I don't really know if you're gonna do a necklace like this for Eve, but you know what? I'm gonna do this anyway. And for those of you who want to see this dress unfold, this is actually an Eid dress that I wore about two years ago. And well, I'm wearing my gym tights underneath, so ignore that part. But look at this. Oh my God, I've lost so much weight. This shirt was actually quite tight and quite fitted. And now look at this. Ouchie. If you also want to see my weight loss tips, well, I have so many videos on that on my channel. Make sure you do watch those and then lose some weight. And don't forget to get your waist trainers because they are going to help you lose even more weight. They're also available on my website, which is ishacosmetics.co.uk and they keep your stomach super flat and your waist snatched in. That is also how I lost so much weight myself. Okay, I think I should have ironed this dress, but I think it's okay. I can now take it off. No, wait, I have to take a few photos first. But guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'm having difficulty with the butt, as you can see. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, me Lady Isha. And if you recreate this Eid look, make sure you do tag me. Tag me in all your Eid posts anyway, because I always do this every year where I always repost and reshare everybody's Eid looks on my Instagram and on my Snapchat also. And wait, before you leave, don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button also. It helps me a lot with my channel. And I welcome you all here on my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Isha. I live in London and I would like to know you a lot more also. So let me know down below in the comments, who are you, what's your name and which city are you from? Let's get to know each other more. Until my next video, take care of your well-being. Take care of yourself. Bye.